Welcome back guys, 80 Squared here with the final installment of my series on how to package, bundle, and deploy a JavaFX application uh, without all the fucking headaches. Without further ado, let's step into it. Um, I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible because I know you guys are probably stuck. Last time we created the .exe file uh, for our application and the GRE folder right containing our runtime environment what we're going to do today is use uh is use our you know setup compiler which is oh uh which is free to use so link in the description box just go here and download it install it on your computer and run it now i am going to do just that so this is what you get when you open it um this just select create new script file using script wizard because this is going to open and then click next this is our application name right so test application this is the version whatever this is fine for me the name of my company 80 squared attack and my website whatever Okay, so click next. This is important, right? So the application folder where it's going to output the files and folders. So destination base folder is in program files by default on Windows 10. Pretty sure it's um, 86, program files x86. So the folder name that's going to be created on our client's computer, test application. So uncheck this you don't allow the user to select another location uh, program files is fine everybody installs programs there but we're going to use this location in the script later on to tell where to put the JRE so uh, you don't want them to change the location of the install file uh, this is where you select your .exe so in my case it's on desktop not installer but here what we created last time allow the user to start the application after the setup completes yeah of course to create shortcuts um, if you have license files read me's um, agreements terms of use whatever this is where you select them um, text to be displayed I guess uh, the language for the setup English is fine where you want to put the um, installer MSI um, file once it's done so in the folder called installer for us that I created right here setup is going to be the name of the setup so test app setup if you got an icon you want to use select it here click next next and finish now it's asking do you want to compile a script now click no because we got one more line of code we're going to put in under source here under um, the source of the .exe file we're going to put one more line of code we are going to tell it where to take the gre this is i'm just going to copy this to make it faster you can always pause the video and write it all or maybe i'm going to put it in the description box if it helps but your path is going to be different than mine so in any case see users my name desktop the name of the folder where the JRE is located so test app the name of the folder uh, select everything in it uh, this is fine where it's going to output it on our friends or clients computer C program files x86 the name of your application so test application now you really want to make sure there's no typos because it's gonna make your installer not work so JRE and these two flags once you're done you click save and we're going to save this entire script as a config file if we ever need it again and then click run now this may take quite a bit because it's taken the entire runtime environment and um, packaging it with our .exe file so 
bear with me for about a minute. It's a good time to remind you to like, subscribe, comment, engage, whatever. And if it helps, donate. That's a few bucks to save you a headache, right? If I knew how to edit videos, I would speed this up, but you're stuck, so bear, bear with me a few, few seconds. And we're almost done. There it is. Now it's going to automatically run our setup. So click yes. Bring this over. Of course, create a desktop shortcut. Install. Now this is going to take a few seconds because it's taking the entire JRE again and it's outputting it in the folder we specified in this step. Looks like my computer's working overtime right now. So launch our app. And it works. Now let's make sure it's using the right JRE, all right? Let's navigate. Uh, C. Program files. Test application. You see that there's two of them. There's one with the P in it. Was a previous um, test. So here's the uninstaller, our application, and it's using this JRE, which contains everything we copied in the previous step. To make sure it's the right one, we're going to run it again. OK, it works. I'm going to rename this to whatever, and then I'm going to try it again. And there you go. It was configured to use this Java runtime. So if you delete this folder, rename it, or whatever, if your client does that, it's going to kill your application. Look, it works again. All right. I hope this helps. I hope um, you get to create a bunch of more applications with Java because it's really a beautiful language. I love I love JetBrains IntelliJ, but this stopped me for a long time to develop and to finish an application, actually, um, until I got so pissed off that I searched for like a week, uh, searching through like Stack Overflow and whatnot and, and pieced together a bunch of tutorials to create this one. So I hope this helps, guys. See you. Thanks for watching.